Expending energy has propelled humans into a once unthinkable level of progress, so much so that this expenditure in energy has transformed itself into the most important industry in the world. With technology's insatiable power demand, companies feel the importance of utilizing their energy output as efficiently as possible. Coming up, I'll share one company's mission to help attain energy sustainability in robotics. Stay tuned. Robots drive incredible human progress, yet their productivity demands massive energy. However, one company has crafted an innovative solution to tackle this challenge. ABB Robotics has launched its energy efficiency service to help businesses adopt sustainable practices. The service offers energy usage analysis, optimization tools, and cost saving strategies. It also helps customers track and reduce robot energy consumption, potentially cutting usage by up to 30%. Coming up, we'll explore three key tools to optimize robot energy consumption, but first, it's our premier product highlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Phoenix Contact PLC Interface Series provides a high-performance interface between controllers and system I.O. devices. Featuring slim 6.2mm wide plug-in relays and solid-state relays, this compact system offers various connection technologies and fast system cabling. It includes electromechanical relays with manual actuation for easy maintenance and commissioning, as well as safe signal switching in Zone 2 explosive areas. The Phoenix Contact PLC Interface Series include all of these additional features and is perfect for a wide variety of industrial applications. Check them out today at Mauser.com. Mislabeling spices might create a bit of kitchen chaos, but mislabeling wires could result in much worse than a stomach ache. To help explain, we present David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. Some parts of control engineering are honestly not as exciting as other parts. That's just a reality of pretty much any job. One of the really important, but perhaps less interesting aspects of wiring up a control panel is the ability to effectively label the wires and connection points. Labeling is such a big industry just by itself that you can see whole categories of label printers, wire markers, wire labelers, and they serve a very specific purpose of matching the wires and the connection points to a schematic so that an engineer can not only read the schematic and read the devices in the field, but connect both together and understand the big scope of where all the signals are going. So there's a couple of examples of how this labeling can take place. One example is attaching the labels directly to a wire itself. Sometimes this can be done with small plastic housings and zip ties. We create a, a label affixed to the front of a small plastic block, and then it's zip tied either to a coiled up wire or a long piece of cable. And then at either end, we can look at that cable and understand what's going on. Sometimes the sleeves are shrink wrapped around the wire so that it permanently stays in place without the extra bulk of the wrapper and the zip tie. We can sometimes even print directly on the cable itself. That's often the way you'll find it coming from a manufacturer. Like if you've ever rewired a three phase motor, very often the wires themselves have the wire T numbers labeled directly on them. For terminal blocks, we have nowhere to be able to zip tie our connector to, and we have nowhere to stick a label because the sides of this terminal block will be covered up by other terminal blocks next to it. So instead, special terminal block labels can be clipped right to the front of these, whether you're looking down at a control cabinet or you're looking up at a control cabinet. Either way, we should be able to attach the labels properly so that they can be read and evaluated very quickly. Sometimes we can get pre-printed ones. Like in this case, it's a number 10. So an entire row of blocks will be numerically ordered. Sometimes, in the case of this, it's labeled as FU3, the third fuse in a setup. If that's a custom label, we can custom print with ink onto that label and then generate that label that we can attach to the front of the terminal block. These come in all shapes and sizes and every manufacturer of terminal block is going to supply the right labels for, name, for labeling on the fronts, or sides, or even at the top and bottom of a terminal block. There's all sorts of ways that we need to be able to creatively label it 
but the whole goal of this process is not to make your system work better, it's to make your system easier and more efficient to locate the problems and the spots that we need to find as quickly and efficiently as possible. That minimizes downtime and in the end, it saves a whole lot more money than it actually costs for these tiny little plastic labels in the beginning. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. Many believe that attaining sustainability while at maximum energy output is the stuff of science fiction. Just what was powering that thing anyway? Well, the energy efficiency service from ABB offers three key tools to optimize robot energy consumption. The program optimization tool evaluates robots operating software and recommends adjustments such as changes in velocity or motion patterns to increase efficiency. The standby energy optimization tool analyzes energy usage and provides tailored suggestions for reducing consumption and enhancing performance. Lastly, the energy monitoring and benchmarking tool provides 24-7 monitoring and insights to help customers track and improve robot performance across comparable applications. This incredible service looks like a great way forward in scaling back energy use while ramping up production. Hey, that does it for us. Be sure to click the links to our other videos for all things control automation. We'll see you next time.